You know what I love about it, and I was just saying, it's the atmosphere. Okay, B grade, let's go. I'll see it's plus three laps. A grade. A grade, I yeah, thought so. They won't let me hear us B grade. It's fucking miserable. He's got Shorey. I don't know if Shorey's going to stick around for the break post that long, so it'll be down to two. And the other guy was off in the gun. It could be interesting. I reckon they make two more laps. TJ, TJ, TJ's not TJ strong go, here. He'll go solo, but the two more laps, they'll be back in the bunch. Yeah. I reckon you're right. He, he, he's, he isn't strong on the hill here. He's, and he, he corners all right. Mm, he corners great, yeah. Yeah, but you know. Uh, so I'm more interested in that, probably having a few drinks after. It's the only time I can pull out out. So. We weren't really breakaways, I was sort of just sitting on people's wheel and trying not to vomit. It's sort of easy sitting in and then just like you'd be off the front on that downhill and it was just torture. Like, so I just swung off and sat in for the rest of the race. Like, you could pretty much freewheel down that whole descent. Yeah. Shout out to Aiden Goodyear.
come. Like the likes of uh, Jimmy Wheel and stuff are here, so it should be a, mm, should be a fast be a, race. It's going to be a tough race. Yeah. It'll be good fun. Excellent. So uh, what are you looking forward? What, what are your plans for tonight? Any any strategies? Um, Get off the front? And nah. Start front? Uh, it'll be interesting to see how it goes. It's a bit slow out the back. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if the break goes. If there's a strong enough group, there will be one to go. Um, obviously. Um, so I think I'll see how I'm feeling about 10 minutes in or so and see how it goes. Yeah, give, cool. it, a, give it a bit of a nudge maybe. <laughs> to go! B grade! Three laps to go! I'm glad they... Two laps to go! Two laps to go! Two laps to go! Two laps to go! It's great to have the women's series start off tonight and to have somewhere in the order of you know, almost 200 riders participating tonight, almost sell out in all of the four open grades, then about 40 women, then we've got the juniors on top. And it's a pleasant evening, I guess, considering uh, what kind of temperatures we've had recently and it makes up for last week's of you know, having to abandon that with the rain around. So the, the women's will run through to the end of February and also one of the special events that we've got coming up in the new year for women is a handicap race, road race, out at Hanging Rock. I think it's 16th or 17th of February and this is designed for people who haven't raced before and as a lead up to that we've got training and school sessions for people who want to come along and they're going to be run of a weekend at the Hawthorne Velodrome. I think so far this year is uh, pretty good. Uh, Drapax just uh, sort of helped me out the second half of the year. And uh, yeah, look, just did Southland and that was bloody hard. And uh, great experience. And uh, kick started next year really well. Have you ever heard of the South Tour of Southland? The wind. I raced it when I was a kid. So the wind is <laughs> fucked. It's like sixty. It's like getting punched in the face from the side. It's like sixty k an hour. You get people getting blown off the road, and like the rain was like hail, and it hurt. We were going. We were in the Pello, and we're going twenty three k's an hour into this headwind. The whole Pello. We're going twenty three k's an hour. Well, I've sort of been keeping an eye on all of it. You know what I love about it, and I was just saying, it's the atmosphere that you get at Club Crits. I think it's, and what else I love about it is there's a lot of people I don't know. I used to know nearly everyone at the local crit scene. I don't anymore, so what it means is we're getting a lot, a lot of new blood into the sport, which is good. That is exciting, and again, I think what's exciting about that is, I think tonight it's the start of the women's series. I've heard that there's over 80 female members of Hawthorne uh, Club, which is fantastic. And again, a lot of fresh blood into the sport and we need to up the female sort of memberships in cycling in general because I think as a sport we've really lagged behind in that stake. So Hawthorne are doing their part. Now I think it's over to the other clubs to, to try and do their part as well. It is the plan. It's been 13 years since I actually raced. So the day I retired, I've not raced a day since. And I actually just want to have a race because I'm getting older and each year you get older you know that you're getting farther away from being able to get around uh, at, a, at a crit or a road race. It'll be nothing serious, I can tell you that. It'll be suffering and just uh, trying to hold my own and keep it upright. Let's call it a comeback, it'll be just uh, something, a bit of fun and really a social thing. Just, to, you know, it's good to catch up with people. Hello everyone, welcome to my latest video. This week we're at Hawthorne Crit Circuit. This circuit in Q, just off the uh, Yarra Boulevard in, in Q. Uh, this is an off-road, off-road, closed uh, circuit it's for bikes and pedestrians. Wednesday night, it belongs to the bikes. We own it. Now, this week, I had finally had some good legs. They were firing at all cylinders. Bang, bang, bang! They were all feeling fresh as a Daisy. Now they're usually pretty spotty because of work and commitments and all that adult blah 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 shit. 
I'm not really adult, I'm just barely an adult. But I like to say it. All that adult blah 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 ruins my legs on a Wednesday night. It destroys them. So if I could find a way where I could always have fresh legs on a Wednesday night, that would be the saviour of my day. The saviour of the universe. I would be. Somehow I could make everyone have fresh legs. I would be a god. This week, Power Data Overlay is back. Uh, I'm always probably generally going to have it from this point forward because I've got a Garmin GoPro. It all makes sense. As you can see, heart rate's there, 168. My threshold's about 180. 180 is, is a is solid. 180, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing. I'm pushing shit uphill. 175, and I'm, and I'm really, really like in the zone. 185, I'm on the verge of, of, uh, of bonking. 190, and I'm, and uh, things are things that I've eaten are going to want to find their way out. <laughs> 200, I've probably hit about once. And things that were eaten happened to find their way out when they came out. I threw up. If that's not clear. The, I hope it was. Um, this lap, this road, this race, compared to other crits like SKCC, are uh, a lot more technical. Uh, SKCC, is, it's a I mean, the, the bottom bottom corner is pretty technical-ish, like 90 degree turn. You know, it's it's pretty standard for a crit. This one has a hairpin. If you haven't noticed, um, it's off camber, so it makes it extra delicious. Delicious to eat when you're absolutely sending it through, barreling it into that corner, uh, inside pedal art, just pushing down, finding that awesome line like I just did. Love it. Love this, love that corner, love this course. It's great. And the good thing about it, because we're going up a hill now, after that hairpin, you're always going to be destined to have to pump up the watts. Kick out of the saddle, bang, bang, bang. Like what Lee Turner says on his, his, on, on his Instagram story, bang, 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 bang. After that, every lap on that hill, it gets exhausting. That's why this crit circuit is one for the rider who can really sprint well and be able to recover well. So he has to have a really low lactate threshold, being able to really accumulate all those hydrogen ions and being able to release them. That is what is needed at this circuit. At, at uh, St Kilda, like you could kick out on every single corner. That would be a tough lap, but sometimes you don't. And most of the time, you can sit in the draft and you'd be okay. Up this hill, however, you can be in the draft, but because, look, I've just lost all that, all that momentum. I've lost that wheel. I have to fight to get back onto that wheel again. So, I'm in the draft, kind of. I still have to really work it. I still have to really pump it. And of course, as you got the hill, most of you probably know, it's watts per kilogram. That's what matters. This hill's not too steep. I think it's on Strava, I think like 300 meters at like 3% average. And I've seen it tackling off, so I have to send it, I have to barrel it, up 1000 watts. No big deal. Um, just kidding, that, that was that was a big deal for me. I had to really, I had to really hard pump it that way. But I like being in the first. Front wheel on the this corner is great. I can dictate where everyone wants to go. I take charge now. I am the captain now. That's how I feel when I'm on the front. And it's great. Choose my own line, and of course, because it's like a, a small gap, you can really like use it to your advantage. And I, Adam, used it to advantage because he came around me like I gave him the best lead out of his life. And in a way, I, I kind of did. So I kind of kind of messed myself up. And now I have to I have to suffer for it and try to push my way back into the, the line again because. Of, of that hill, you can be spending the same amount of energy at the back. So it, it's really demoralizing because when you're on the front and you're pushing out lots of watts, you feel, you feel pretty good because you can start a breakaway. When you're at the back and you're pushing out a thousand watts, I feel pretty shit because I'm just spending all this energy just to stay within the race. And that feels demoralizing. It feels horrible because you realize that I'm, 
what am I gonna use? What am I gonna use when I get the front? I've spent all these little binkies I've had trying to stay with the group, and now I've got, I've got like nothing to to, to to spend at the end. Because I'm at the front if I'm doing breakaways, I'm gonna be spending a lot of energy. I know that, but I feel much better knowing that I had a chance. I had a chance to win. That's what I like. Going for that breakaway really was really challenging for me because as you can see here I'm going I'm trying to do the breakaway but I've got a tailwind so it's really easy to get that uh, to get the split but to maintain it is a completely new adventure to partake on and it's a new adventure to partake on it's a lot more difficult going around this backstroke because where's the tailwind there's a headwind and this part was the headwind section Hey, I think I'm pumping out good speed and good wattage and stuff like that. But the guy who's maybe 20 meters off me, who's just been sitting in, can comfortably just cruise around and catch up to me. Which would happen every single time a breakaway went up the road. The the guys sitting in the top 10 in the Palatin were easily able to move around the, the guy chasing and then easily able to bridge up to the person on the breakaway. They spent all their energy with the tail end and not able to get anywhere. Which was a terrible feeling. Um, it was not a fun day. So that's what really made the difference. Back to the race. Um, we're in a, I'm, in a, I'm in a shitty position again. I can't live up. And I need to. I, I'm trying to see if I can find that gap. See if I can find someone who can take me all the way up there. And this is the last lap. This is this is bow lap. I I'm I'm trapped. I've I'm gone. There's nothing I can do. Uh, I I move around all these riders up here, but I'm like top 20 if I'm lucky, and I just I I just give up. Um, I, I can see that there's nothing. There's not much I can do. I gave up. It's a shame. It was a good race. It was fun. Thank you for watching All But The Bike. Subscribe here, watch our latest video here, watch different content over here, and follow me on Instagram, Strava, and Facebook.